Personalized outreach, it's not just a nice to have anymore, it's essential. You know, a whopping 83% of buyers, they actually expect a personalized experience. So if you nail it, that's a huge opportunity. And guess what? SEPs and CRMs, they're your secret weapons. Okay, so first things first, for anyone who's, you know, maybe not totally familiar, let's break it down. What exactly are we talking about when we say CRM? And so All right, so CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. It's basically like, imagine a central hub, right? All your customer information lives there. Everything. Contact details, all their past interactions, what they bought, any support tickets, the whole nine yards. The beauty of it is that everyone in the company can access it. So your sales team, marketing, support, they're all on the same page. No more silos. It's all about better communication, building those strong relationships with your customers. That makes total sense. So it's like way more than just a like a fancy address book. Right? Oh yeah, way more. You've got all these advanced features too, like lead scoring and pipeline management. Helps you figure out who to prioritize, predict your sales. It's powerful stuff. Okay, so CRM is our command center. Got it. Yeah. Where does the SE fit into all of this? What does that even stand for? SEP. That's sales engagement platform. Now, this is your tool for actually reaching out to those potential customers, streamlining everything, making it personal, email, social media, even texting. You can automate follow-ups, customize your templates for different types of buyers. You can even track how people are interacting with what you're sending out. It's all about efficiency. So if I'm getting this right, the CRM is like the brain, yeah. all the intel, and the SCP is like the actual action how you connect with the right people at the right time. You got it. And that leads us to the million dollar question, the big why. Why use both? Because trust me, when these two work together, they're unstoppable. I was just going to say on the surface, it sounds like there might be like some overlap. So break it down for us. How do they actually complement each other? Let's dive into that. So first off, they've got different goals, right? A CRM, it's all about nurturing those long-term relationships across all your departments. SEP, on the other hand, that's laser focused on those initial interactions, especially for your sales team, getting those leads engaged. So different tools for different stages of the, uh, the customer's journey. Gotcha. Would you say that, like, different teams within a company would lean towards one or the other? Absolutely. Your account managers, customer support, marketing folks, they'll be living in the CRM, building those lasting relationships. But your sales development reps, the ones out there hunting for new leads, they'll be all about that SEP, making sure every interaction counts. Makes sense. What else makes this dynamic duo so effective? Well, they each handle different parts of the process. Like with SAPs, you can streamline all those daily outreach tasks, scheduling, testing different messages, keeping track of how things are performing. CRM, it's more about the big picture, managing that entire sales funnel, forecasting, finding areas to improve, different strengths. Okay, I got to ask about the, uh, the buzzword of the moment. Predictive analytics. How does that fit into all of this? This is where it gets really exciting. SAPs are using AI now to analyze all that juicy data you've got in your CRM. And then, get this, they use it to create these hyper-personalized outreach messages. Imagine, the SAP looks at a lead's past purchases, what they clicked on your website, even their social media, and crafts an email so spot on, it's like you're reading their mind. That's the kind of personalization that gets people's attention. Mind-blowing. So let's bring it back to our listeners. What does all this mean for them? What kind of results can they expect if they use CRMs and SAPs together? You're talking about creating a sales machine. You get that complete view of your customer, and then you can reach out to them in a way that's super targeted, super personal. It's a recipe for more efficiency, closing deals faster, and a way higher conversion rate. Everyone wins. And happier sales teams. Thinking back to, you know, when I first started out, I wasted so much time chasing leads that were going nowhere. But with this combo, you can focus on the people who are actually likely to become customers. Way less frustration. Exactly. Remember that 83% we talked about? If you're not personalizing your outreach, you're basically handing those customers to your competitors. But with SCPs and CRMs working together, you can deliver the kind of tailored experience that makes you stand out. That's what people want. Say someone's already using a CRM, but they haven't really looked into SCPs yet. What would you say to them? Go for it. Explore what's out there and find an SEP that plays nice with your CRM. That data sharing between the two, it's key. It's an investment, but it'll pay off big time in terms of, you know, saving time and boosting those sales numbers. So to wrap up our deep dive, let's recap the key points. CRMs, they're your foundation. All that customer data drives your whole strategy. SCPs, they're the engine, making sure your outreach is personalized and efficient. Put them together and you've got a sales powerhouse. 
And the biggest takeaway, the sales world, it never stops moving. You gotta keep learning, keep adapting, and use the best tools you can get your hands on. This combo, it's a great way to stay ahead of the game and get those results.